Okay. The stream is active. Thank God. Alright. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm New Lost, and I'm joined by... Actually, this is going to be the first time I'm going to be introducing this group of people as the Yawning Void. It's my Discord server. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, fellows. And friends. What up, nerds? It's your fellow Space Trash. Yes. It's me from beyond the grave, the Necro Whoa. Junkie. Yes, the Necro Junkie. <laughs> your fellow Space And now to kick that tweet online as well, because last time I streamed, I was told, hey, you should share this on the Twitter. The tw like, yeah. okay, sure. We're doing a short game this time. And unfortunately, this is going to be a one game thing instead of two games in a row. Or a long game. Who wants to read? I read. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. And it seems that Mindy will be joining us through, uh, while being muted. Okay. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless. Sometimes brilliant. Sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh, right. And now... Who am I? I'll pick, and Kevin, you want to be Franken? It's whichever, man. All right. You go which... You go which... If you want to be Franken, you go for it. Actually, Sarah, who do you want to be? I mean... Yeah, you you do you, buddy. You pick you, and we'll we'll follow suit. All right. I've been these two the past few streams, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Ann this time. Or Vicky or Blue, and but yeah, we'll name her Ann. You can type in the keyboard to do a name if you need to. Oh, to me. Yeah. Um. Hey, you'll be. Hmm. We're gonna kick that off. And we're at two viewers. I like her. Yes. Yeah, between last stream and this one, I gained two more followers. Woo, one oh. from a uh, MKV team, I think it's called. At least I remember seeing that name. And the other one nice. is from someone named Superman. Nice. I'm just gonna take this one over here because it gives me a name and I can't think of one. Understandable. Hmm. <laughs> Shadow Man or Frank Man. I always go with my Frank man. You do. We'll name him. He's just gonna go default Brian. No, you should change it and make him Brain. <laughs> Brian. Ah. And you had yet to experience its ultimate challenge the Monster Prom. I uh, remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Danny LaVey. 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Oh, I'm Damien so much. Scott Hell. Go ahead. 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Liam Delincourt, four something hun 400 something years old, hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Yay! Polly Geist, 22, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all of the wrong. Thing. 
And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of goodness. Yes. So it's clear. It had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose her prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and copy their art. Technically it's two weeks, but whatever. <laughs> as, I, as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Oh, now no, Teen please. Wolf. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever! All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Before I know more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose what, which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your character's answers into character stats. Well, I can't talk. It happens. <laughs> this way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! And now, for questions. A radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? Yes, that's mm -hmm. the thing. Superpower for all is choosing the right combination of emojis, get the desired reaction for all people, so using my loved ones, start to bury my enemies, selling an argument, and even conveying complex emotional thoughts. Uh, probably rabies? I go to hospital immediately. Or, the incredible power of writing fan fiction is so compelling that the actual creators of these shows decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. Well, because it matches someone that we know, and he's not here, I'm gonna go with that one. Hmm. Um. I'm, I'm gonna go with the emojis one. Yes. What would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? <laughs> A tiny piece of sharp metal, so every scoop would be full of thrill and danger. <laughs> A sample of a more nutritious breakfast option, so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. Or the phone number of that sexy tiger in the front of the box. He's so passionate about breakfast and health that he's surely also a great lover. Oh Speaking God. of that, call me 1-800-GREAT. <laughs> oh Jesus. God. Someone should actually dial that number and see what happens. Anyway. No. Oh God. No. I think uh, the person that I'm thinking of could also use someone's phone number. Oh, see, I'm picking that one too. All right. I like to live dangerously. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the most appealing oh, no. in a love a partner? Near person. Oh my god. Yeah. Very near person. Horn. Kawaii eyes. Kawaii eyes. Taste for party. Sharp wits. Soft fur. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna go with fur. Soft fur. Um. Technically, it would be scales, but also fur. Hmm. I'm just gonna take it for the innuendo. All right. Take it for the innuendo. Party. Yes. I knew that. I knew that was coming. Yay. <laughs> I've already done that though. You're about to do it again. That's okay. Yes. I mean, look Who at look at, you get Luke? look at I how got many Scott. Times, look, nice. Look at how many times I've played Dragon Age and any of the Mass Effect series. Here we go. <laughs> same romance every time. Yes. Alrighty. Especially in Mass Effect. Who's first go? It'll be me first, probably, because I'm hosting. Mm -hmm. But All other right. than that, let's do it. All right. It is. So. You need some boldness there. Yeah. When we get to... I've got the X thing going on, so it means there's something lagging. Mm. But... Mm. This, this is a thing that tends to happen in the online version of this. Unlike the local version that I did yesterday, actually. So see, I still can't see anything. 
but I do know it is my turn. The X thing is there. And, okay, things are working oh, now. At least on my end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. we see you moving. Alright. Well, I need to go take a piss. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hang out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. Later, you see Scott all but skipping down the corridor, cheerily writing off some sort of list. Do you want to do this one, Kevin? Since... Yeah, I can. Alright. Hi, pal! Oh man, today is the best. I was walking out of class and my tail just started wagging all of a sudden. You know how sometimes your tail just starts wagging and you're not even sure why? I started wondering what my tail might be so happy about, and I realized it's probably just because I'm a werewolf. Because being a werewolf is just about the best thing, right? I mean, if I was a werewolf, I wouldn't even have a tail to wag. Scott, please. But then I started thinking even more, and I realized where everything's would be pretty good. Oh, God. Where dog oh, bands, where pigs, where weasels, where tanks. Oh, God. God, no. I wonder what the absolute best were creature would be. Jesus. <laughs> where vending machine, where water fountain, where door, where window, where knob, where floor. Oh, God. Scott, no. Okay, now he's just naming things you can see. You. You'd better jump in. Where a were moon, moon or a were werewolf. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna go were werewolf, maybe. So oh god. Created. A were werewolf. Jesus. That sounds like the best thing ever. Oh god. What's better than winning a sports game? Winning two sports games. Scott, no. Yes. What's better than gym class? Double gym class. Oh no. Scott. So what could be better than being a werewolf? Be double werewolf. Oh no. Scott. I wonder if I could get a member of the wolf pack to bite me so I, I, a werewolf, can turn into a werewolf. Scott. Scott. And be a were werewolf. Or Scott. two could bite me, and I could be a were were werewolf. Oh no! And what happens if a were werewolf bites a were were werewolf? Oh man, is this why they make us learn math? I like his face. I like the uh, recursion that happens when werewolves bite each other. Scott's math performance increases dramatically, but only for the next week. He gained plus two smarts and plus one creativity. Hella, got all the yes. stuff going on there. Mm. You need that creativity. I do. Yes. Which is over here. Yep. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves <laughs> have tended to give you figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Hell yes. Do you want me to do this one? Uh, sure. Only because Kevin's going to be doing Damien for certain. Yeah. God damn, I signed up for this play because I knew I could fill out these costumes like a goddess. But now I'm starting to think, I might actually hate acting, which is weird because I love lying. Then that's your fucking problem, Vera. You shouldn't be lying. You should be living truthfully oh, under imaginary so circumstances. <laughs> Duh. I love Damien so much. What? You think I don't know about acting? I have hidden depths, you know. My life isn't all punching and arson. It's just mostly thing, those things. Look, you're an assassin, right? You just need to think the best reason to assassinate someone. Oh, you know exactly what that is. Because nobody's paying you not to. No reason at all. Everyone is rotten and deserves to die. Hmm. I mean, I like that one a lot. Because it's true. <laughs> mm, I don't know. That's 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 up to you. Because it's mostly true. Yes. Anyway. That is a very bold decision, and you did yeah. it. 
Wow, you're right. Everyone is awful. They are. I'm just thinking about all the people I wish would die. There are so many. Every dude who's ever sent me dick pics. Crazy Martin the Wear Bear Janitor when he busts me for breaking rules. Anyone who wears socks with sandals. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Fuck those people! Tear all that sweet, sweet hatred and maybe we won't totally bomb up here. Time to run lines with feeling! And murder. Fuck yeah! Murder! I'll get... I'll go get my acting knives. I love David. But, but not really, right? You hope not really. You gain two boldness and one creativity. Hell yes. Killer. Uh, charm. Which is... The, the gym, gym, I think? The gym. Yes. Play this, play this. I get your sweet dodgeball skills. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your teammates' spirits, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. You're getting ready for another round of, you guessed yes. it, dodgeball, when Polly flags you down. Hey! You know what I realized? Jim is the one time we're actually encouraged to judge the way students handle each other's balls. Yes. Before you can her. even begin to think of a response, a giant interdimensional rift opens in the gymnasium. Jesus Christ. And out pops the ever-persistent interventional prince. My dearest Lady Paulina, worry not, my love. I am here to whisk your way to the safety of my dimension. Safety? From what? From what? Why? From this unceasing war you seem always to be caught in the middle of. Danger abounds all around you. Look at these uniformed soldiers. Look at the, the projectiles hurling through the air. Often told your gorgeous visage. Come, let me steal your way. If you're using the word steal, it's a good sign this is not going in a great direction. But the interdimensional prince is too focused on saving Polly from the horrors of war to listen to reason. He grabs her by the arm and is about to pull her through the interdimensional rift when you call out to him. How the fuck can he grab her? <laughs> if you're taking her, you must follow the rules of engagement and first speak to our highest ranking officer, Coach. A true hero wouldn't flee to safety. He would stay and fight this war for his love's honor. Mm. Ooh, yeah. I'm thinking the... F I'm not sure which one would be best for you. Well, I do know is that you do have more boldness than anything except for smarts, but I'm not sure which one of these would be smart, if any are smart. Ah, uh, let's go with this. That is bold. Ah. <laughs> I'll do it. Ah, you make a very excellent point, my friend. Fear not, Paulina. I will fight for your honor, defeat your enemies, and then adopt you back to my dimension. Wink. Oh, perfect. Sounds great. All right, Paulina's army, it's time to defeat her attackers. For Paulina! The prince rushes ah. the opposing team with gusto, ready to destroy the dastardly beings determined to hurt his uninterested bride. Unfortunately for him, Polly used her psychic powers, what, you didn't know ghosts have psychic powers? And gave her team new instructions. Or wait, she just texted them. That works too. Both dodgeball teams immediately pelt him with all the balls they have, which is a lot of balls. And the interdimensional prince is accosted from every side. No! Ugh. Paulina, why? The betrayal, it hurts. <laughs> and so do these balls. With a final ball to the head, ironically thrown by his beloved Paulina herself, the interdimensional prince is knocked unconscious. A rift in space and time opens up, and a pair of concerned-looking servants carry the prince back through the rift, which then closes behind them. Sweet! This is the most fun I have ever had playing dodgeball. You should knock people unconscious in PE every day, Brian. Man, if that doesn't sound romantic, what does? You gain plus two fun, plus one charm, and minus one interdimensional prince. <laughs> let's trade places. Yeah. It's probably not an actual stat in this game, but let's challenge. Everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Aardvark. Oh my god, Jesse picked that yesterday. 
I'm, I'm going to pick. <laughs> I'm going to pick pick a an emu. Giraffe. Player orders decide based on how cute a video where a charming cat becomes friends. Select the animal would be. Start debating now. Hmm. But the yardbark. I said yardbark. He's so adorbs. He's so elusive. He's yes. So charming. Him and cat make best friendos. I say. Hmm. Like you wouldn't even be able to see it on the draft. Yeah. And with an emu, I mean, unless the cat like climbs a giraffe. You know, you with the emus, uh, you know, there is a reason why Australia waged the Great Emu War. Yes. Because they're angry. They're not friendly. The Great Emu, which they lost. Yes. Oh, they Ardvark lost for the win. Okay, oh, Ardvark it is. The funniest part about that. So giraffe. So giraffe or emu. Uh... Because Emu I mean, is definitely imagine, smaller than the giraffe, but... Can you imagine but, a cat, like, shimming its way up, up a giraffe's leg, though? You know, cats do like to go to high places, and a giraffe would be a very good uh, partner for climbing up the high places. As long as the giraffe doesn't mind the claw marks. Okay, oh, you yeah, go ahead and go yeah. second. Week 1 noon. It's yeah. just her picking order at lunch. It's lunchtime. Yes. Bing Brian. bong, bing bong. Sorry. Maybe sit with my boy. It is okay. You approach Scott and Polly's table to find them crouched behind a pile of jelly desserts, <laughs> plotting. Big bros of you here, bro. Come on, join our huddle. Maybe you're curious about our huge pile of jelly jam and gelatinous dessert cups? Well, wonder no more. We're going for the jelly prize! Yeah, we're gonna win it if we collect the foil cover of 100 jelly desserts. We'll be lucky winners of. One free jelly dessert! Ah! But right now we're stuck. We've only got 99. That means we need... We need... One more, Scott. We need one more. We need one more! You'd give them your jelly dessert, but you already threw it at a bird <laughs> person you hate. Guess you've got to make a choice. Nope, Steal they're the uh, summer dessert. costumes. <laughs> yes. Steal the jelly, final jelly dessert from the jelly dessert I'll factory. Bit, guys. Sorry. Okay. Okay. See ya, make a, make like a puppy dog and beg. All things are sweeter when achieved through pity. I say the uh, lunch themes don't depend on your stats, so just pick whichever one you think is appropriate. What is it stealing? Wrong. No, Scott, that's a myth, like hangovers in the afterlife. But if the afterlife isn't real, why are you a ghost? There's no time for metaphysics, Scott. We've got, we've got a heist to plan. No, Coach said stealing is wrong. Unless you're stealing a ball or a base or a from the jaws of defeat. Actually, it seems like sports is mostly about stealing. Well, that settles it. Time for stealing. So much stealing. One fake bus, one real woolly mammoth, and a brutal running gun battle, you finally secure one illicit jelly cup. Which you turn in, along with your 99 other jelly cups for one free jelly cup. Scott is too upset by all the violence, so you split your free jelly cup with Polly. Worth it. Ah. Go to sit with the boy over here. Alright. You come, up, you come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while her eating serfs chow down obediently at a neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, the silverware is not for killing. Things can be for stuff other than killing? I love him. That's lame as hell! It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serfs do it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Actually, they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands as befits the lower classes. So you're saying this silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes. These two could go round and round like this forever, unless you say something to resolve the dispute. Damien's right, maybe it is time you started murdering people with, with your silverware. Lay off Miranda. What, what about your collection of exotic corpses? Hmm. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, what else? Like, it's just sitting there. Not doing anything. What else do you use silverware for, man? Come on! Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. I mean, I was just giving her shit, but I am in favor of any plan that gets more people murdered. Oh, how Bob Barrick. Are you sure it's the right thing to do? Yeah. Yep. 100%. Absolutely. Well, alright then. Yum yum, Daisy. Take the shoppers of these silvered wares in your filthy peasant hands and go murder them, would you? I was kind of hoping you would do the murdering yourself. Oh, Damien. If we're living in an age where a lady can't outsource her senseless murders to her servants, I don't know what the world is coming to. Fair enough. As long as the murderers... As long as the murders get done, I guess. I don't care. Miranda even outsources some silverware murder to you and Damien as a team. It really brings you closer to each other. <laughs> ah, so much murder outsourcing. <laughs> Nothing like outsourcing Speaking murder. of murder, I'm gonna go sit with Dodger. Oh god. You're taking a break from socializing to eat your lunch when someone punched you in the knee. And also because you sat with Scott, I have to sit with someone else. Oh well. It's the Slayer, and she's hiding under your table. Right. Eat knee pain, freak! Now I wanted to punch your other- Ow! You just threw your apple at her. Finally, a use for that red delicious. <laughs> You've defeated the Slayer. She flees, leaving two choice pieces of loot behind. Oh shit. The loot flashes rapidly, getting ready to disappear. Almost as if you're in some kind of video game? <laughs> no time to contemplate the nature of existence. Pick some loot before it's all gone. Garlic, rice, and holy water. One monster's weakness is another monster's dinner. Or, a gun that shoots steaks with the shit burned into the side of them. Okay. That is definitely my type of toy. You scope up the sweet ass gun and go about your day. Obviously, you're not going to use it to kill any of your classmates. So you're a monster, not a monster. But later in biology class, the teacher calls on you without warning. You panic, because who has time to do the reading when you're trying to smooch your classmates? But your panic turns to self-assurance when you hear the teacher's question, What do flies do? Rather than responding with lame-ass fucking words, you respond by firing a wooden stake straight into the chalkboard. Eat shit! exclaims the teacher. Why, that's exactly right. Congratulations! You meant to shoot the teacher, but hey, whatever works. You gain plus four boldness. Bam. Let's try places! Yes. All right, uh, challenge. Everyone chooses a food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players for clicking. Pizza. Wait, so you got so Kevin's spaghetti. All right. And I'm pizza. pizza. I'm going to choose eggs. Player orders side based on how unappealing a pizza would be if they chose to choose this <laughs> topic. Start debating now. Actually, you know what? Pizza would be pizza really top fucking appealing on top of pizza. pizza. It would be good. <laughs> More pizza on top of pizza? Spaghetti on top of pizza? I mean, eggs on top of pizza would be fair, most unappealing. To be fair, if you have breakfast pizza... But, like, that's just one kind of egg. That's just one way to cook egg. If you had, like, over easy or fucking sunny side up, and you say, get into you... it and just egg yolk started, like, running all over it... I mean, there would be some people into that, but... You have to think about spaghetti, like, that's really fucking pasta-y, you know? I could, but With the thing carb. is, is, like, I could get a slice of spaghetti, or a slice of pizza, put spaghetti on that shit, roll up the pizza, and have, like, a pizza spaghetti roll, and that would be delicious. Bam. Hmm. That would be so Alright, so you're saying that I should go first, then? Yes, because right. runny-ass eggs on top of a pizza, gross. Ew. Yeah, alright. So, spaghetti or pizza on pizza? Which one is worse? Uh, spaghetti on pizza. Because, I mean, more pizza on pizza than you just pizza It's just, sandwiches. you're just basically eating a Chicago pizza, or pizza <laughs> pie, or whatever. It is evening. Fun or money, sir? Um, I don't care about money. Go to fun. Hey, oh, why don't no. you study and prepare for your future? We can come oh, here and look, buy some weird shit instead, am I right? Yes. These are all different. Go ahead. Let's face it, you're probably going to end up losing money in a stupid way anyway. Why not spend it here first? It's just called- it's called just being smart. Yep. Shouldn't you- shouldn't be you out there trying to romance a classmate That's or something? Anyway, welcome. Yeah, I say grammar can be here in this game. And now, I'm too poor for a PR agent, too poor for the penguin mask, and too poor for cocaine. 
There's what am I not tampon. poor enough for? A bloody tampon. I use tampon. I am not getting that. That's that's <laughs> something. The form of prom queen. <laughs> that is for someone else to get. We're gonna get these glasses. They're dope. Bam! Look at that fun. And remember the first rule: shop club, no refunds. Anything different for you guys? Yeah, I'm always amazed at how people keep coming and buying all this stupid crap. Intriguing. Yes. Mine just says buy stranger. Yep. All right. And for viewers fun, watching, Sarah. this I thing do. differs for anyone. The tree. Fun. That day, during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party! Yes! You gain two fun. You're minding your own business when Damien comes rushing through, punching everyone who's minding their own business. Fuck, I'm so, I'm so angry. angry! I love him. I'm so angry, I want to pull my own skull out and eat it. I'm so angry, I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face. I'm so angry, I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become president and then use my nuclear codes to blow up the sun. Ah. And you, you're standing in my way. Move before I punch you so hard you remember with melancholy the times when you could move without all of your bones hurting. Oh no. Oh no, violence incoming. Think fast. Jokes on you, pal. I'm a pragmatist. I avoid any kind of idealization of the past because it is no use and therefore our views feeling any kind of melancholy. That's too many words. No time to think? That's too many words. It's just too many words. Yes. Just keep dancing. You have no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. Yes. It is, it is really, really silly indeed. Before you realize, all your classmates have joined you in your silly little dance. What the fuck? Move or I will kill you dead, noob! Noob. But Damien, you can't deny she is actually moving. Yeah, and quite the move she has. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, even Damien can't fight against logic. Maybe you should move, Damien. Don't be a loser. Ah. Yeah, as you just said. Here you move or you die. How come Liam, Liam hasn't changed, though? Oh. All your classmates start chanting, Move or die! Move or die! Ah! Damien, frustrated by the crazy, mindless, but joyful mob you've created, finally leaves. Still, from afar, you can see an interesting inner turn fire burning in the back of his eyes. But for now, you gain two boldness and one fun. Yes. Loot. Your turn, Brian. Mm. Creativity or money? Let's go with some creativity. That'd be the auditorium, yes. right? Yes. Alrighty. That day, while we're here oh, to the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the role requires you to be. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there, but there might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance your creati creativity just a bit. You gain plus two creativity, you also lose minus three years of your life as your end of the deal, but who cares? They weren't happening in-game anyway. You catch Polly floating up on the catwalk, muttering to herself. She perks up when she sees you. Oh man, perfect! I need some advice. Scott was nervous about signing up for the talent show, so I promised him I'd sign up too. But I don't know what to do. Sex having and drug doing are banned on stage after my act last year, and I can't think of any other talent. I don't want to back out, but I don't want to do something lame just cause, you know? What would you do if you were me? Besides look through walls and naked people, because duh. Well, mm. since you can't die, you could do an awesome, awesome suicide, suicide. medley. Um, hello, twerking! Hmm. That is fun. Oh, wow! Yeah! Twerking is so much a part of my life, I forgot it was even a task. Yes. My morning routine is just like, wake up, up, twerk, make breakfast, drop it on the floor because I'm still twerking. If twerking was a sport, I would be the quarterback. Except I've got more than a quarterback, if you know what I mean. You assume she's referring to her ass. You're inclined to agree. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Woo! 
Thanks. That weekend, something happened to <laughs> Kevin. Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh snap! Oh no! For those who are watching the first time, something more interesting happens than just a two-player game. Go ahead, Brian. On, on the weekend at a park, doing some homework, practicing your best lurking under people's beds poses. This is spooky high school after all. When you're greeted by sound of plus money waiting to happen. Sup, motherfucker! Get ready for... Adult business idea! Brought to you by Team Best Business People. Scott, I told you you were not doing team names. What we're doing is getting ready to recruit investors. We have the greatest improvement. We're going to reinvent the wheel. Except in this case, the wheel is a bucket. We're reinventing the bucket. So we realize that buckets can be pretty extreme if they're big enough. But are they ever really big enough? No, because buckets have bottoms. And that means that they can only hold as much as goes between the top and the bottom. Ugh. So if we just remove the bottom of the bucket, then the amount of water the bucket can hold would be unlimited. Yep, that sounds totally correct. And like the perfect plan for sure. Yep, no downsides here. So now we just need a super wealthy investor who can sponsor the manufacturing of our dream bottomless buckets for us. How do I put this delicately? Do you know anyone that's fucking loaded? You check your phone. Vera would never invest in this. Miranda, no, she's already investing in a bucket camp. So it would be a conflict of interest. That leaves you with Amira and Anne. Uh... You just spent all your money. Yeah, I just spent all mine, so don't pick me. <laughs> Amira is your dude. She is the one who pioneered the idea of subway delays and then subsequently invested in cab companies. The most perfect scheme of all time. I'll read yours just for S's and G's. And just inherited a bunch of money from a rich great uncle who she didn't even speak to until she found out they were wealthy <laughs> and terminally ill. Ethnically questionable? Sure. Fiscally successful? Definitely. Yeah, say. Remember the last cool remember shades. the last time yeah. when you picked an option I told you not to pick? And then it failed miserably? Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna be the very best, like no one ever was! To God. catch those my real test. Yeah, you are. With Amira's funding, you're able to perfect the bottomless bucket. Gone are the days of simply carrying finite amounts of water containers? There's no goddamn way that this is going to work in reality, but you run a start kicker campaign and pre-sales are through the roof, and that's what matters. I sure do hope we don't have to actually deliver on this fucking thing. Nah, man, we're just gonna take people's money in advance and then spitzies. A bottomless bucket? That would never work! Uh. <laughs> oh! And I have gotten a follow from Iota. Welcome. Yeah! That's fine too, I guess. Sorry, Scott mentioned, had to butt in a bit here. And he too agrees. Thanks for the follow! Yeah! Lost. Yay! Go on, Kevin. Hooray! You gave plus two fun! Because it's fun to trick people out of money! Which plus one of! Plus one money! Hell yes! <laughs> Let's trade places! Challenge. Challenge! Everyone chooses something cool. cool. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Ice. The North Pole. Get it? It's cool. <laughs> um... I am going to say... The Ashbringer. Yeah. Player orders aside, based on how awesome it would be if Japan built vending machines that sold a selected thing, things, start to bang now. Holy Holy vending machines that sell the pole. But vending machines that sell ash bringer. Oh my god, you're right. A whole geographic region of the world. Yeah, but nobody wants that. Oh god. Not as much as- you could either get a fucking frigid climate, or you could get a kick-ass sword. You know, kick-ass swords are definitely- Okay, fine, fuck me. I'm sorry, but kick ass swords. Alright, now it's between. Well, and me, then, right? then, then, then North Pole. Because a vending machine that just sells ice, I mean, we kind of yeah. have that shit, so. Week two of the morning, it comes. I'm just consistent. And I do not have money yeah, to money, spend. Yo. So, I don't know if I need money. 
But I'll go anyway. Get the monies. I like my scam. That day you spend some time on the library's PC, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. <laughs> it doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which is in a status game, so who cares? And you gain 2 money. Yes. Later, you hear an unmistakable growling that can only mean one thing. Intergalactic lines have broken through space to devour one of the smaller, weaker students. <laughs> no way, it's just a wolf pack. Guess oh, it could have meant two things. The last um, time is it romance a or is a bros? 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 One of you can do it. You're my teammates and my family, and I'm not trying to be bad, Scott, but. This is the third is month the third in a row. In a row. You've missed our full You've moon bro down. Full moon bro down. We got together and practice wolf pyramid. Wolf pyramid. Can you help each other judge some sheep steroids? <laughs> we played flip we played cup with lambs blood. Spiked with, with, spiked with natty, with natty ice. ice. No! Oh no! That all sounds really nice, but I already had plans and I didn't want to let people down. Bro, Bro, you're a wolf. You're a wolf. Are you with the wolf pack? Are you with the wolf pack? Those are you other monsters. Those other monsters. Oh damn, you're one of those other monsters. You, you better do something. Let me teach you a new game. Make sure we long distance fetch. Or, guys, guys, guys. On the end said, aren't we all wolves? You know, hmm. <laughs> long distance fetch. I almost <laughs> want to say that long. that is probably more charm than anything. And go for it, whichever man, whichever you think. Fetch. Really? Oh, really? You think, well, you think a little fetch game is really gonna work, work on us? Because it will. We love fetch. Scott. Scott. Not now, bro. Not now, bro. Play cool. Play, play cool. cool. Play cool. You hold up the headless kitten squeaky toy you always keep on hand, just in case. <laughs> Then, using everything you learned in Portal, the class, not the game, he opened an interdimensional rift. It's, it's, it's a squeaky. It's a squeaky. Oh man, oh, Broski, the, the squeakiest. It's a squeaky little kitten, bro. You hurl the toy into the portal, and the entire wolf pack dives in after it without a second thought. <laughs> Aw, man. Oh, man, the portal closed. The portal closed. I wanted to catch the squeaky, squeaky toy. It's okay, Scott. I hope they'll be home in time for sports practice. It's okay, Scott. They will be. These rifts in space-time last about as long as Scott's extension <laughs> span. But they'll be distracted enough to leave Scott alone. With you. Time for some quality bonding. He gained plus two charm and plus one smarts. Hell yes. What do you okay, mean? Um, I need Money some or creativity? I feel like I need some creativity. Some creativity. Yep. Yep. It's time to do some acting. Over here. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. Yes. You act you act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience <laughs> throw roses at you. Seven roses, to be exact. Damn. Damn. Roses aren't a valid currency or sad in this game. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm. Seems seven roses equals two creativity oh, yes. points. Sweet! You gain two creativity. Ooh. Despite everything else happening around you, you're just solving some Sudokus, but your mind is constantly going back to Damien, because, of yes. course, stupid sexy Damien and his idiotic short temper. You think he could even be your sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24-7. <laughs> For God's sake, he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. Oh god, this oh, one. No. As a matter of fact, your, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. You stupid yellow fruit! What's, What's your deal? deal? You, you think, think you're richer in potassium than me? Love him. No, no one, one is richer in potassium, potassium than Damien fucking the bay! Gah! Is he even for real? Stupid sexy Damien! No, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates somehow into arson. Defend the banana, or eat the banana. Um... Hmm. I mean, I, I love bananas. Eat that fucking. <laughs> I love bananas. Yes. You get closer to Damien in a very cool and quiet way. Huh? Why don't you mind your own business, noob? I love you. But you don't mind your business. You eat the banana instead. 
Uh, what? Ah! Ooh, look at Damien. He's losing his shit. I'll again. do this so you don't burn out your voice, Kevin. Yeah. Okay. Go yeah, ahead. he was bullying that banana, but it seems he's all bark and no bite. Not like Amira, huh? Indeed, Amira seems to be all bite for sure. Wait a banana. Kinda sexy. It is alluring, being all bite, not the bullying. Bullying is never alluring nor sexy. Thanks, Damien. I mean, Liam. True that. Unless you're bullying a banana. I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. I mean, it's stupid. Hashtag winners don't bully bananas, they just eat them. Hashtag Damien is a stupid banana bully. Ah, not again! Damien... This is it! This is the last, the last time, time you dare, dare fuck with me, you bastard! bastard. On prom night, we're going to share a very special dance. Spoiler alert, it will hurt! Ooh, that's a prom fit on prom night. Damien versus Amira, instant classic. Interesting. I might attend. It's not. It's not the kind of fight you're thinking about, Damien. Damn right. You all have tickets to watch how I reduce Amira's bones into a sad, shapeless pulp. Not by punching. Yes, free tickets. Hashtag prom fight on prom night. Uh. And so you've led yourself to your own potential death. Nice. We should gain free boldness for doing so of your own volition. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I need boldness. Yep. That day you skip class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. <laughs> but you encounter three wild hyenas on their way on your way there. Who the fuck runs security here? <laughs> anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've totally gained plus two bolts. Hell yes. <clears throat> Later, you see Polly floating around, her ghostly glow less ghastly than usual. Oh, hey, Brian. I'm just hovering a little low today. Everyone seems so hyped about love, and I love being hyped. But I'm not really sure how this love thing works, you know? I thought I was in love once. I met a beautiful girl at a party and felt this strange magic. My temperature rose. I felt even floatier than usual. Everything was so bright and beautiful. I was ecstatic. But then I remembered that I had taken literal ecstasy, so it was probably just that. Oh, God. Classic mistake, am I right? <laughs> I've had some pretty good highs, but they say being in love is the greatest high of all. The next time I'm on a date with someone, what can I do to fall in love? Or float in love, since gravity doesn't actually affect well, me. Well, then. Oh, you don't want Polly to float in love with another person. But you like Polly just too much to not help her despite the consequences. Mm. Scientifically speaking, people fall in love faster when afraid. Do something fun with them, like getting stabbed. Stare deeply into their eyes for 14 hours. Mm. She's dressed different on my screen. Hmm. Wait, she's dressed different on your screen? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Which one do I'm I go a, for? A, like, Stare Kevin's... deeply or scientifically getting stabbed? Hmm. I mean, you came for fun. I feel like that has the, I mean, that has the word fun in it. And, you know, she's all about partying. That is smart, oh, but you did point. I love science! I mean, I don't. But I love it when it gets me drugs or gets me laid. Loved! Not laid. Loved! In love! With that, Polly disappears, literally, to begin her quest for the terror that is love. She catches up to you a few days later. Hey! So I went on a Tinder date the other night with this super cute humanoid. And I took him to a getting stabbed party, just like you suggested. It was awesome. He was so terrified. It was like each time a knife entered him, he got more scared and more in love with me. Then the date continued because he bled out and died and became a ghost. So we had even more in common. Like, I'm over it now, obviously, but I'm pretty sure I love for like 15 whole minutes. Next time, I'm going to try and work my way up to 25. Polly, in love for 25 minutes. Maybe the next time it'll be with you. Maybe you'll even make it to 50 minutes or eternity. I hope it's for eternity. <laughs> Either way, you've opened up Polly's heart metaphorically to love and gain plus two charm and plus one smarts in the process. Hell yeah! yeah. Let's trade the places. Trade places. Challenge time. Oh. Everybody chooses an occupation. Say a choice out oh, yeah. loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, I did this last time. Though that we did this, yeah. um, so I'm gonna 
just kind of make a lateral shift and say psychology. All right, I'm gonna say construction worker. I'm making a lateral shift here. Mario and Luigi are plumbers. Player order decided based on how funny and off-brand version of these two heroes called Hans and Rudolph would be. Who, aside from Save Kingdom, Blair? are also select occupation. Start debating now. I'm also psychologist. Oh God. Okay. Oh man. And I have you construction know, workers. Plumbers, plumbers is very close to construction workers, mm. so. But on the other end of that, we have psychologists. Hmm. Yeah, can you and imagine seeing them two as psychologists would be fucking hilarious. Like, the people would they go for they Freudian psychology or young psychology I mean, or? Um, <laughs> hmm. Or maybe. I mean, I feel like they would just be in like private practice. So I mean, it's like a little mixture of everything. Yeah, it's kind of like That's kind terrifying. of eclectic, eclectic psychology. They can psychoanalyze you in all <laughs> kinds of manners. Actually, I think that would be yeah. a lot funnier than just construction working or lawyering. It's it's like the fucking um, animaniacs. Yes. And now and between definitely... lawyers and construction workers. I think it would be funnier lawyers than construction. Yeah, workers, that's a fair Mario point. And Luigi are already kind of construction workers. Yeah. The only difference is they're always destroying everything. Oh well, anyway, go I'm ahead. Get in there. I'm gonna go sit with my boy over here. What are you doing? You mess with me and then you try to sit at my table? Damien. Go away and get ready to die, fuckhead. Damien. You're gonna see it in the corner in silence. Will you die soon? Who knows? Meanwhile, nothing else happens. And if you think this is unfair, next time don't try to sit at the table of a person who has expressed his desire to murder. <laughs> <laughs> totally not a smart move. That's right. great. I mean, that's fair. Sorry. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well played. Let's say well played. <laughs> oh, Scott and Polly are funny. sitting together, laughing their metaphorical asses off. That was funny. Do Damien! Do Damien! Arr, I'm Damien! Look at my stupid red face! I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up to revere a toxic version of my masculinity which has alienated me from my own true emotions. <laughs> you sound exactly like him. Okay, okay, you do Vera. I'm Vera. I'm very smart, my hair is pretty, and all my friends look up to me because I'm a strong, independent woman. Scott, I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. I'm not Scott, I'm Vera. You can tell because I said my name just now. Okay. What about you, Brian? Got, got any good impressions? I like how Scott is a good boy. Always. <laughs> yes. Scott is a very good boy. Just one. But it's a real doozy. Oh, man. Who are you gonna, who are you gonna impersonate? Probably me. Oh, boy. Who is that impression? <laughs> I knew you were doing an impression of me because you said my name, but, uh... Oh my god, that sounds exactly like him! It does? Yeah, remember that time we took that impressions class together and we had to introduce ourselves? Oh yeah, I, I guess I did say, Wolf Wolf, is me Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions. They're different again. Mm -hmm. I didn't yell like that. I'm sorry, you're the real Scott? There's two absolutely identical werewolves in front of me and I can't tell the difference. Polly insists on a smooching contest to determine who the real Scott is. You end up winning in more ways than one. Ooh. And me? Well, okay, I can't sit with Scott, either. so I'm gonna sit with the closest thing to Scott. You're about <laughs> to <laughs> dig into a delicious bowl of beef jerky when you see the wolf pack cross the table, panting at you. Yo dog, Yo dog give me some of that you have some Jay, you got there. Jay, you got there? We love well, meats jerked. that have been jerked. Oh god. Come on. Come on. Totally I'm trade totally afraid to do anything. Lunch. Lunch. You can have this dead ferret. You can have this dead ferret. Just telephone receiver. Or... While one of them is talking, the other is just straight up eat your beef jerky. You hit their noses of a newspaper, but it's too late. <laughs> Uh, what? Yes, gotta trade yes, after all. Gotta yeah. trade after, after all. Huh? Which of our foods Which of our do you want, dog? Want, dog? How about this black plastic bottle labeled seriously? Don't drink <laughs> this is poison or nothing. Give me a beer jerky back now. You know what? I am going all in. Oh, is that what it says? We found it on a garbage bin with a skull and crossbones on it. Guns are good to eat, so we took it. But, but if that's if the only that's thing, the only you, thing want, you want, I guess, I guess you can have it. it. 
You don't give them don't the time to change them. their minds. You reach across the table, snatch, and chug. <laughs> on the TV yeah. news that night, you learned that after drinking the elixir, you went on a bit of a rampage. <laughs> oh, Specifically, you declared the cafeteria a sovereign state and abolish all laws except for a party forever. <laughs> Your government was soon overthrown by the National Guard, but you've been nominated for the Nobel Peace for Prize hey! for Partying. E game plus four fun. Woo -woo, Hell so yes! Fun. Challenge. I'm fun. Bye. Okay, mine was so fun. A celebrity. Can we please take a moment to hmm. discuss hmm. my trying to sit with Damien? Uh, Jeffrey Dean to laugh Morgan. At that for a while. Who you choose? Um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Okay. Morgan. Because we've been watching a lot of Supernatural. Right. On he's he's the dad Dan in uh in Supernatural, uh, and he's Negan on the Walking oh. Dead. Oh, yeah. Neat. Yeah. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna choose so Jeff Goldblum. Yes! Oh my god! That's a good one. Stole her thunder. <laughs> oh, she's gotta think hard. She doesn't know <laughs> celebrity. I, I, this, I feel like completely fucking blank this one every time. Uh -huh. Um. Look at that book right there. There's a the name of one. Oh yeah! Yeah, let's 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 go with the governor. The Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. Play or decide based on how Lion. weird a video game starting to start starting to be. Start to be now. Did they ever make video games out of the Terminator? Okay, yes, yes, they have. There are many Terminator games yeah. and and lots of things with Arnie. So I'm sorry, but you're last. Yeah. <laughs> the weirdest one would I would have to say go to the Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, oh, like, that would be great, that though! That would be such a strange game, though. I mean, you could probably do Thor Ragnarok, but if he's a player character, that would be but very no, fucking still, weird. Like, and even, like, imagine, like, all the Jeff Goldblum roles, like... Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park, the fly. Yes. Like, Jeff Goldblum so is just a weird, eccentric kind of person. <laughs> anyway. yeah, he's a weird yeah. <laughs> And, like... One with Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I think, would have to be second, because he's not in many things. You just play as Negan and go around bashing people's brains. I say, Terminator it'd be almost like Terminator. recreation of, like, Manhunt or <laughs> Hatred or something. Sorry, Arnie, I love you, but... Alright. Well, it is time for... About you. Do you want to try to get some... Creativity. That go. day, while rehearsing for a class <laughs> play, you totally forgot your, get your lines. It's terrible. Oh, but you yeah. don't let that get you down. You start improvising all of your lines. And it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something since half your improvisation is a rat bell against your inner fears. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity. Scott strolls by, happily munching on something. Liam gapes at him, appalled. What on earth are you eating, Scott? This delicious new flavor of fangless potato chips. Maximum ultimate double barbecue massacre! Really? Because it looks like a raw severed goat head inside a cardboard tube. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess it does. Could have sworn it was a potato chips. Still tasty, though. Tasty. Tasty! Does wanted environmental destruction sound tasty to you? I don't know. Is that a kind of jerky? Yes, it is. <laughs> no, Scott. Don't you realize that in order to harvest these goat heads, fangles, and co-decapitate millions of innocent goats every year? Oh, no. But what do they do with the bodies of the goats? Uh, they end up in World of Warcraft. Specifically, Kevin's the one that ends up with them. <laughs> Nothing. It's a horrendously wasteful practice. Oh no! All those poor headless goat bodies running around and bumping into things! We have to stop uh. Wait, really? I was just trying to make you feel guilty. I didn't actually have a plan of action. But if someone were, were to suggest hmm. one... And did goat torsos. <laughs> you mean the Draenei? Oh no! <laughs> Surely being blog be post or... Hmm... Vengeful undead goat, goat torsos. You know... Army of goat, goat torsos. Yeah, I would. And I got another follower. Holy shit! Thank oh, you, yes. Commander Root, for her to follow. And ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Go ahead. Necromancy, the ultimate tool in the protesters' arsenal. Hell yes. Oh, oh! Can I ride a goat? Can I, huh? 
Of course you can ride a goat. In fact, given your size, you'll probably need to ride several. Here's a buff boy. What's a... several? Is it a really big goat? No time to explain basic concepts, Scott. You've got an invasion to orchestrate. As long as you're reanimating things, you animate some severed goat heads too. They'll eat anything, which totally helps you clean your room. You gain plus two creativity and plus Damn. one smarts. Damn. Oh my god. Moist. Hmm. I wish I had goat heads that did that. Uh, <laughs> what do I want to do? All right. Boldness. More boldness. Boldness, money. Boldness. Cause your creativity thing. Is... Yeah, I'm in the creativity. You take Sorry. Creativity. I'm gonna go with bold. I mean, you took. I mean, both you took Scott at lunch, both times. <laughs> But you know, I'm fine. it is okay. It happens. That's all right. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. On the way there, you run into me, Ma Mimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this. Speaking shit. of drinks, honesty extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gain plus two boldness. Thank my mommy and proceed to the bathrooms. Yes. Oh my god, did you hear? They finally invented a tattoo gun that works on ghosts. I'm totally gonna get one as soon as school lets out. And I'm down to four. Oh three. shit, we should definitely get matching tattoos. You wanna? Of course you do. What are you, responsible? The important question is, what kind of tattoo do you want to get? The entire text of the Necronomicon. You be the first half, and I'll be the second half. Knuckle tats. You get part, part, you par, and I'll get tipa, riti. Put your knuckles together, and you know what that spells. God. Six! You look blankly at Polly. What? That's what it spells, right? I mean, I could be wrong. Whenever I speak of letters, I always assume... A sex D. Mm. And a knuckle tattoo is obviously longer than three letters. So sex it is! Hell yes. You start to explain that sex is the same length as LSD, but Polly presses a finger to your lips. Shh, my little dumplet. If you play your cards right, I'll show you just how long sex can really be. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she does show you. It turns hey, out it can power? be as long as you want. If you just keep adding X to the end, you gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Sorry, I got someone chatting Steve. here. Hi, KG. How's your day going? Hello. And go uh, ahead, Sarah. Pick a location. The, uh... Sarah, you need smarts? Some money or some smarts? Yeah, yeah smarts. smarts. That, 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 that's class. That's class, yeah. right? Class. No, no, go back. Son of a bitch. Oh no. Class. Oh, yeah. yep. oh god. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and gay dating gimmicks, you forget that att that attending class is the primary activity at this. We gain two smarts. Yes. Woo Scott and Vera shoulder each other out of the way to, tr to try and get to you first. Hey, I, I heard Damien talk about how he's gonna beat you up at prom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mess him up. What? Hey, I don't believe in great gratuitous violence, unless I'm a werewolf, in which case one That's time so I ate a boy. kindergartner. Scott! <laughs> oh no. You're right, Scott. I should look into this upcoming carnage and think of a way of monetizing it. I heard Polly saying Damien was giving away free tickets to watch him skinning a mirror alive. Such a lack of business perspective is discouraging. Ah. Ooh, Scott? That's not nice. <laughs> he forgot where he was. And <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, KG. I hope that we can at least help pass time by entertaining you. And why haven't I received free tickets? Go ahead. Maybe we the not our best. maybe the not so nice part is the part about you being skinned alive. Anyway, Amira, what are you doing about this? Might I interest in you in some Oberlin life insurance? This might be a good time to get a policy. Yeah, Amira, what are you doing about this? Won't you give us free tickets to watch Damien skin you alive? Don't be rude, bro. Wink. That's a good question. What are you doing about this? Seems like you're pretty screwed. 
Uh, maybe if you play your cards right, you can convince one of these two to teach you how to fight. <laughs> God. Mm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks. And you're, you're gonna teach me how, your secret Overland combat style. I don't know, probably die, unless some big, strong, good at sportsman decides to teach me how to fight. Where would I ever find such a man? Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Smarts, I mean... One of them I think involves money, the other one I think is... I mean, I have six money. Mm, it's up to you. Is something that is not money related. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, a big strong good sportsman? Me! Okay, uh, here's what you do. When Davy comes at you, just turn to a dire wolf and bite his face <laughs> off. Great, thanks. thanks it's God. not gratuitous thanks. violence, but self-defense gratuitous violence. Or fully reduced gratuitous violence. <laughs> thanks, Scott. Oh wait, you can't turn to a wolf, right? That's like a werewolf thing. Hmm. Oh, have you heard of punching? Well, Scott. let me explain to you how it works. God. God. After that, you have a very cool <laughs> training montage. Thanks. You start by punching a punching bag, but later you punch several trees. Close to the end, you punch a whole tank, and you even punch your various fears and weaknesses in the face. Now you feel ready to face stupid sexy Damien in the prom fight on prom night. It will be bloody. You gain two boldness and one fun. Ah. Right? Alright, so... Oh god. Uh, 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 Alright, oh well, I've been going for Scott this entire time, so mm. let's do that. Yeah. I might fail, though. Uh, I... Yes. And... Good. Do it, Sarah. Oh. I am. I yeah. am. My, my computer's yeah. dying, so give me a second. Oh god. Oh, I there gotta go. see how this, if this works out. This works oh, the way that I think it works. This is gonna be really because funny. none of us so. did research on how the endings happen. I you know. finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Huh? Prom? I don't know. You're nice at all, but I have a great sense of smell. And somehow this smells like a bad idea. So no. I should pass, bro. Sorry. Oh no! What? You knew you should have taken a shower for asking Scott. It all oh, seemed no. pretty bleak. But you're a natural fighter, so you fought for the right to marry your own hand, since that seemed like your last chance at finding love. Oh, Yay! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible! <laughs> you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Yes! It'll be epic, Lou. Shit, shit will get pretty wild pretty soon. Only one thing. If I were you, I'd get some good life insurance. Just in case. Prom was wild! Yes! But still not wild enough for the likes of you. So close to dawn, you decide to keep partying by improvising a dope after party in an abandoned manor house. You partied with a group of classmates for days. Over time, people came and left. Some even died from too much partying. At one point, one of the deities of partying hard appeared, summoned by the deaths of your peers, which turned out to be a sacrifice to him. He declared you his heralds and bestowed upon you supernatural rad party powers. Like endless confetti, whatever that means. Then he joined you, and you all kept partying for another entire week, because that's how you ah. roll. Damn. So, fun oh fact, God. there actually was sickness in, uh, In France. your cockiest voice here, my and Damien, the two of you have a date on prom. I got an achievement. Oh my God. Continue. Yeah. Yeah, fucker, it's a date. Prom that arrives and your brawl is even scheduled in the official prom 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 gram. Ah. A crowd is ready and waiting for your- Oh my god, this is actually <laughs> And damn, do you start fighting? All the advice proves useful when you put up a hell of a good fight. Punch after punch, you start to see the thrill in Damien's eyes. He seems almost ecstatic to have found a worthy adversary. Deep down inside, you know violence is never the answer, yet all the sweat and blood and physical conduct is- Hell yeah, crazy. indeed, KG. <laughs> And then, in the middle of that intense tangle of violence, you start making out. Apparently, a good beating was the ultimate turn-on for Damien. How is it that everything is ultimately about sex with young people? <laughs> people start leaving because apparently witnessing free violence is okay, but witnessing a very intense and physical demonstration of love is somehow wrong. So you take your prom fight to the bathroom. Oh my god. It turns out that somehow the sex is even more violent than the fight. One of your ribs end up broken, but damn, was it worth Hell it. Hell yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got more.
most likely to survive for a year drinking oil. And that was a secret Jeez. ending, Sarah. And also, the yeah. cycle repeats itself. I will be on a losing streak for, I'm going to say, three games, and then I'm going to no. win for another four, and then it'll be another three, no. and so on and so forth. Yeah! I do not believe it. <laughs> Polly, at least my poor oil student. <laughs> secret ending! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I will read us out. Yes. It was great. You read us out, and I'll prepare for someone to raid. In the meantime. Okay. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Polly graduated at doing lots of a Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca, Ayahuasca, and now she appears to people hallucinating to act as their spirit. I actually animal. got something different. different. Yeah, each one of you guys will Alright, Scary, go ahead and be yours. <laughs> Scott turned out to be a genius and became the most renowned mathematician in the country. <laughs> I got Scott became an athlete. Not so long ago, he won a prestigious national award for being the best at doing sports. <laughs> I got Scott became an athlete. Not so long ago, he won a prestigious national award for being the best mine at continues. doing That's sports. This is JK, he became an athlete. Duh. He's still a bit of a simpleton, but but as lovable and good-hearted as right. ever. I got one for Polly here. Polly's drug cooking skills proved to be useful, and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. Damien found peace in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything till one day he punched his own anger to death. Mine says Damien became an interior designer specializing in. My Polly one continues. <laughs> yeah, in her free time, she still cooks drugs. Mine continues. He has written a book about it. And mine... Oh, mine, mine continued, right. too. Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between macabre and sheep. And I have an art extension for Polly. Her greatest invention so far are watermelon-flavored XC and a thing called Alice Dope. Oh, mine's, mine's still continuing. And mine... Polly's drug cooking... Mine is just the Damien found peace in the most unexpected way the one that Kevin just got to remember. Yeah. So my, my Polly's drug cooking skills proved to be useful, and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. Yet, on her free time, she still cooks drugs. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I got. Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon-flavored ecstasy and a thing called LS Dope. Damn. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. Ew. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called Youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Woo. The credits, at least. Woo. So, fun fact, if you upload this to YouTube and you don't talk over it or something, it actually gets flagged for a copyright claim thing? It, it's... Really? Yeah. Although, the catch is it seems to differ every time. Which is weird. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well, it... I mean, I'm not trying to monetize YouTube or anything, so fuck it. Who cares? But, you know. We're just having fun Yes! Here. I know! Like, I know, we're, right? We're amateur voice actors here. Alright, so... Actually, Sarah, your friend's streaming right now. She's streaming Spore. So I think I'm gonna raid her. Yes. Yeah, because it's Friday. Yeah. Because it's Friday. Um... Is this how I do it? Blackjack. I have unlocked nine new. Yeah, that too. I see. I understand that definitely, KG. Okay, does this work? Okay, it works. After it should be fifteen seconds, I think. A little bit less than that. The people watching the stream are going to go on to watch uh, Blackjack Kent, who is a pretty cool streamer. Yeah. I don't catch her all that often, friend. but she is Sarah's friend, and... She is her friend. Yes. And she is good. And now... Okay. I got, a I got six go. new images. And that was your thing. Got ten. Whoa. Now we're in.